Hello, this is the uh, framework that I was working on on the machine. I had this frame, had this part mounted on the machine, and this part down here was sticking up in the air. But on here, it's opposite because this is actually going to be the top of the machine, and this is the bottom. This is the part that's going to go attached to the table and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these pads to mount onto the table and uh, I don't have one here to show you there well, I got one around here somewhere but it's a piece of one inch square tubing that's been welded to this piece and there are the little foot pieces are going to be mounted with the T the T uh, nuts into the ways of the table and like I said this is uh, this is going to be the bottom the part that mounts on the table and it's going to be the top I got the little ball unit off here right now because I'm attaching a, a disc brake to it but uh, this is what the the mounting idea I had looks like and these were the original frames and I had uh, some steel ones made to replace these and of course it's you know it's got to be tweaked you know when i bent these i mentioned before about these circular cutouts i had in here how they were distorting the metal in the process of being bent it was getting distorted because of these cutouts and uh it was not a pretty sight So what I ended up doing was because the the metal was distorted so badly that it wasn't even flat in the back. I had to put these uh, fender washers behind the material so that the part that was distorted is away from this flat surface because it was causing it to uh, go out of alignment. I mean, it's already not flat to begin with because the, the way it was bent. And then with the distortion, it made it even worse. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it work without having to remake the parts. And uh, it's not that bad. It's supposed to be a uh, five inch spacing. And right now I got about uh, five and three twelve. Of course, these can be pushed in a little bit, but you're not going to push them in a lot because they're they're metal. And uh, I was trying to figure out. You know, I was using these as a guide. Well, I was using the aluminum ones. And then I made these because these were the easiest ones to make. And they were easy. And then when I put these up here, I was trying to figure out why they were so far off. And then when I, I was using this metal one as a guide. And you can see the metal one, I didn't bend it far enough. So the one I was using as a guide wasn't even accurate. It needed to be bent a little bit more. So consequently, these have to be bent a little bit more. And that's why it's off by 312. But uh, I think we can get it fixed. It's not um, 
beyond repair. You know, I, I thought about, yeah, I could put this on a bandsaw and take a cut on here and make some straight cuts so I could uh, get rid of those radiuses in the corner. But I'm not really sure if I want to do that yet. I'll save that as a last resort. But uh, I'm going to have to put it back on the press and uh, tweak it a little bit more. And uh, kind of go from there. But anyway, I just uh, thought I'd show that to you. And these are a lot thicker in the back because I need the... Uh, you know, these in the front are exactly the same in the in the back, except they're thicker. They're wider, you might say, not thicker. But, you know, from the front to the back, it's longer this way. But it's the same exact shape. It's just wider. And that's to help stabilize it so that when, you know, these, if I put this in the back... You know, these have a tendency to rock back and forth. Because it's only, you know, the, the, the bolt hole acts like a pivot. But with this, it won't, it won't do that because it won't rock. Because they're tied together. So that was the idea behind that. And it is, uh, it is stable. It just has to be bent in the correct amount and uh, what I'm looking for here is five inches because that's the uh, the center of the 5 8 slots on the Bridgeport table but uh, overall it's not bad so we'll keep uh, plugging away at it all right, talk to you later.